Ladies and gentlemen, Astroneer got an update today. This is pre-alpha version 125. New update with a whole bunch of additions and fixes. My name is Slice Slime. Let me take you through the news in this version. Let's start with something we all like to do, which is blowing things up. There's now dynamite that you can craft from the backpack. It was in the game previously, but you couldn't craft it. There's new dynamite art and effects and audio as well, and you can now use it to destroy base buildings and other objects. Interesting. In the world, there are now nine new types of discoverable wrecks, and that includes collectible items that are within them, so there's now more to search for in the environment. Research has had some fixes too, there is now additional organic research items that have been added and researching an item when you already have all of the researched recipes won't use up that item in regards to when future updates add more stuff to the game and you'll also get a resource for it. So now if you research everything you should still be on track if you get a new version of the game and they add new stuff in to research. In terms of animation and art there's also a bunch of updates and additions. There's new added character idle animations, the dropship model art has been updated and the Arceus thruster effects for the dropship have been updated as well. There's new model art for the trade platform and new model and effects art for the smelter and also new audio for the smelter. In the launch menu the gamepad support has now been improved so if you're using a gamepad to play the game that should be better. And in addition to that, there's a couple of performance improvements and a whole bunch of bug fixes that seem to mostly be consistency issues with how save files were managed and should hopefully mean that the game is now a little bit more stable over save files. This new version is out for Xbox One, Windows 10 and Steam versions of the game, but do note that Xbox One and Windows 10 might take up to 48 hours before the new version actually it reaches their install. But regardless of which system you use, you should automatically see the update when it becomes available. That was all for this time, my name is Sliced Lime, thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Take care, bye bye.